Let me show you how Postman's MCP client makes building and testing MCP servers visual, intuitive, and actually enjoyable. Hey everyone, Sterling here. Today, we're looking at Postman's new MCP client, a powerful way to test, validate, and debug model context protocol servers. As MCP adoption continues, developers need tools that make working with the protocol as seamless as working with REST APIs. That's where Postman comes in. We've built first-class support for MCP right into the familiar Postman interface that you already know and love. Let's start with creating an MCP request in Postman. Just like HTTP, WebSockets, and GraphQL, you can now just click New and click on MCP. The interface should look familiar to you. It's optimized for MCP's unique structure but it has all the familiarity of Postman. You can connect MCP servers over two transport types. We have standard in-out or standard input-output and streamable HTTP. Let's start by connecting an MCP server that I built locally. So that's gonna use the standard input-output side of the MCP server. Now I've already built it, so I'm gonna go in, find the JS file, and I'm just gonna copy the path. Now I'm gonna go back over to Postman and show you how to connect it all. So we're back in Postman and I'm gonna add node to the beginning because this is node that I'm using and I'm gonna paste the server.js file that I've got. And I'll just hit connect. And there you have it. I've got my tools, prompts, and resources all being imported right into the new MCP server. Once connected, Postman automatically loads and displays all capabilities exposed by the server. Let's take a look at what our new server offers. We see it's provided a tool, which is called Fetch Top News Stories. We've also got two prompts, Summarize the News or Analyze News Trends. And we have two resources, API Info and Category News. The best part about this is that we can now explore all of the offerings inside of this MCP server. This exploration phase is crucial for understanding what MCP server can do before you integrate it with Claude or other LLMs. So in this case, I can look at the top news, I can summarize, and I can add change whatever I need here. So let's say I want to get top news by uh, in the tech space. Uh, or I can look at the various resources, and you'll see that the message changes as we make updates. So category news on, we'll just say, uh, world news. Great. So let's go back to my tool, and we're going to say, all right, let's just get the top news stories and we'll run this. This is much more pleasing on the eye. I've got my preview. I can see the status, all the headers that came back, and I can see the results. And in this case, they are displayed in a table for me. So I can expand this and I can see exactly what's going on across the board. One of my favorite features is the ability to see the full request and response cycle in the timeline view, including any streaming updates. This visibility is invaluable when debugging complex interactions. Just like with HTTP requests, every MCP server can be saved, reused, shared, and documented. This means you can build a collection of MCP servers, share working examples with your team, and create documentation that shows exactly how to interact with your MCP servers. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I'll save this into here and I'll call it news server. Save this into my MCP collection. And now I can save this with the rest of my team. I can add documentation. My team can comment on it and say, well done, good sir. All the collaboration features that you would expect out of Postman, you can use with your MCP servers. This integration with Postman's existing collaboration features makes it easy to incorporate MCP testing and development into your process. If you're interested in using a remote MCP server, you can simply go to HTTP and paste the server URL in the URL bar. Now, the nice thing is that Postman has actually built an MCP server echo server for you. So we can connect to it and we can see the various tools that we have access to, the prompts and the resources. So we can see there's an echo. We can say, hello, Sterling. We'll run it and it comes back with, hello, Sterling. We can, add, we can also go to prompts. We can say, hello, Postmanot. We can run it and we'll say, please process this message, hello, Postmanot. So 
This is a remote MCP server ready for you to use. The URL for the remote server is linked in the description down below. And there you have it. Postman's MCP client transforms the way you build and test MCP servers from a complex code heavy process to an intuitive visual experience. If you found this helpful, hit that like and subscribe button and join the conversation in our Discord server and our community forum. Links are in the description down below. We'll see you next time.